Hi, this is the Australian version of Identify and Report. This is a built-in inspection software designed for the iPad and has been developed by built-in inspectors for built-in inspectors. This iPad software is so simple to use, I can't stress enough just how simple it really is. With very little or no computer experience required, now is the time to change over from that old pen and paper or the old world devices that you might be using and change over to identify and report. I'll now demonstrate some of the basic features that this has. Now up in the top left hand corner this is a indicating that it's a freestanding uh, computer. There is no internet required, no SIM card, no Wi-Fi, it's not required. Everything is built into the iPad. Now we'll go through some of the items that's on the main menu. We have the order form, the calendar, we can print the inspection, we can go to the inspection, we've got the company defaults, we've got an agent organizer, we've got the photos, we've got finder inspection, we can send it via email, we can go to the invoice or we can go and make a new inspection. Right now we'll go to the sample report that we have ready by simply clicking into it. So from here we've got down on the right hand side we've got the main sections of the dwelling to inspect We've got the, in the middle, information about the property. This has been brought forward from the order form. Let's just jump into the order form for a second here. There's a fair bit of information here. Now this is quite detailed. Firstly, we'd like to identify what type of inspection this is. We've identified this as a pre-purchase building inspection. You can change this to whatever type of inspection that you're doing, a defect inspection, a new inspection, swimming pool inspection, you can change and, and control any of the items that are inside there. We've got the client information, we've got the property information, we've got the agent information, which is your solicitor and or real estate involved, and the payment fee, uh, which is structured to it. We'll go back to the report. Okay, this is the report menu. As I said, we've got the main sections down here. This is all compliant with the Australian standards. Let's just go into um, any one of these items, say the interior. As you see on the right hand side, these main sections stay the same, so you can bounce to any one at any time. And across the top is the elements within the building interior. In front right here are the identifiers, which make this property unique. Uh, we've identified as this property having four bedrooms plus an ensuite. Let's just have a look and see how we change that. Just by clicking on that tab there, we can identify it as a one, two, three, or four, five bedroom home. We can edit this, we can add extra to it if we wish, but we've identified it as a four bedroom. Now when we come to find a problem in a particular room, say it's a, a ceiling issue, we'll click on ceiling. This will then bring up the report comments for the building interior. Now this we had a problem with the ceiling. What room was it? It was the living room, say. 
click on living room, it'll post living room there. Identify that's the room that the DFX found in. And this box down here has pulled up or will pull up the comments from the library of the ceiling comments just by simply clicking on that. This has pulled up a dozen items which are common problems that we find with ceilings. You can add to this, customize this to suit yourself. Say there was, uh, we found water stains to the ceiling and we want to copy that to the report and it has now generated it and it now says living room ceilings water stains found at we can then insert whereabouts exactly and unable to determine the source and notice there's a bracketed number number two uh, this is from the legend page the number two means from the legend is a minor defect photo to it which is quite simple clicking on whatever area Take a photo, lift it up, let it focus, and there's a chair. Photo has been added. We can also put a comment to that photo also. So that's as simple as it is, and that's the same going through all the sections. Another feature of the iPad 3, and it works extremely well on Identify and Report software is the voice to text recognition. I'll show you how that works and where it'll be used. Say with the in the reports comment, instead of going to the library, you can talk straight into it and it'll insert it. Let's look at this. Cracked floor tile found in the living room. There it goes. It inserted it. It's as simple as that. Then we can move on to the next item. You've got to get this system. I mean, it's so simple to use. Anyone can use this. It's as simple as. So now you've seen some of the basic features that the Australian version of Identify and Report has to offer. So what's holding you back? You can download a trial of this software, absolutely free. You'll find that it's more affordable than you'll believe. Within a few inspections, you'll be able to pay for this software. I look forward to hearing from you shortly. Thank you.